knowing how you are versus how are you doing. There's a huge difference. Knowing how you are versus how are you doing. And how about this question? As much as we love to watch people dancing, are you participating? And if the answer is no, is that a lost language? Hi, my name is Arrow. I'm a daily writer, a silent wolf. I stand on the sidelines and do nothing but watch, listen, study, then activate. I call it the daily mess. As a receiver of thoughts and ideas, we as people tend to throw it to the side, oh, we'll deal with it later. When a subject arrives inside of me, it's time to dig in. It's still keeping a written journal, but by doing the research, the pictures become clearer. This is The Daily Mess. Observation number 27. Knowing how you are doing versus how are you doing? As of late, I've spent a lot of time in the bathroom mirror asking, so dude, how are you doing? To which I question, who am I asking? If it's me, I'm right here. I totally believe the image in the mirror is the physically present inner core trying to be identified with an outside surface self. I compare it to the day that we recognize God or Jesus, who we think they should look like versus what they really do look like, and will it be the same? The presence of the universal power can come to us in any shape. It becomes a personal choice to see it as such. When someone asks me, hey, how are you doing? Like most people, we truly see it as nothing more than a different way to say hello. They really aren't interested in how we are doing. No, no, these are not my words. Research says it. When you ask somebody, how are you doing? You're really not asking, how are you doing? It's just another way of saying, what's new? What's going on? I just wanted to say, hi. Try saying those things while staring at yourself in the bathroom mirror. It'll take your attitude and make it stronger. Because nobody on this planet knows you better than you. So why are we asking, how you doing? It's time to activate a different question or just say, yo. Hey, coming up next, we all love dancing competitions on television. We'll go to a movie just to see the dancing, especially Ryan Gosling. But the question is, are you dancing? And if you're not, is it a lost form of communication? Hey, thanks for coming back to The Daily Mess. Observation number 28. Dancing is seen as being a way to share a story. Too often we see it unfolding on television shows, in movies, or in strange places of celebration. But rarely are we dancing with ourselves in any place where it feels right. Losing your interest to put a lift in your step is looked upon as being a closure of body language. The research shows there are two different levels of how we take in dancing. I like to dance versus I like dancing. Sounds way too close, doesn't it? But it's not the same. I like to dance is the activation of movement, whereas I like dancing is how we view others dancing. Let's dig a little bit deeper into the research. The question arrives, have we forgotten why we once loved to dance? A thought that may reopen your heart comes from Mikhail Baryshnikov. I do not try to dance better than anyone else. I only try to dance better than myself. Another famous quote, dance more dances. The beauty of dance is when you know you can dance everywhere. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.